Welcome to Self-Improvement Sunday. Today's quote comes from Joseph Jobert, who said, Never write anything that does not give you great pleasure. Emotion is easily transferred from the writer to the reader. Very true. Hi there, my name is Christopher Diarmani, and I help authors go from blank page to finish first draft to publish book with ease. And I really love this quote. Let me get the slides up. There we go. Because this is one of the things I talk about, talk about a lot, about the importance of doing the internal work necessary on yourself so that you can connect to that power source inside you and so that which allows you to actually write the words that will connect deeply with your reader. So that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about the importance of loving your subject matter. Because if you don't, you're not going to be able to be passionate about it, right? It's, it's very challenging. Write from an emotional state of love, joy, and pleasure. If you're not writing in that state, and, and we're going to talk about how to get into that state as well, but if you're not writing from a place of great joy, of great emotional pleasure, a great, um, great love for the stuff you're writing about, for the people you're writing this stuff for, you're never going to transfer that, that to, to the reader. And when we do all these things, it's really easy to connect to our reader. And that's, we always want to make this as easy as possible for ourselves and, of course, for our readers. If we can't write a book that connects with them, what's the point of writing it, right? And as I just said, like without that emotion, it's impossible to connect. So let me ask you a question. Are you struggling to get your words onto the page today? <coughs> Excuse me. Because if you are, perhaps you should just take a moment and rate your level of joy in this moment. And if it's anything below an 8.5, I would ask you to step away from your writing and take a look inside and see why that's going on. Why are you not loving what you're doing? Why are you not loving the subject matter that you have? Because this is probably why you're having such a challenge to get the right words out. You haven't taken the time, maybe not overall, or certainly not today, in this moment, to connect deeply with that passion that's inside you for this subject matter. But the solution, thankfully, very, very simple. I love simple solutions, especially when they're too challenging and complex problems like being into the correct emotional state. That can be a very big one. So obviously, do the internal work on you. That's primary. If, you've not if you're writing about some very difficult subject matter and you haven't done the, your work, you're never going to be able to write that book the way you want. It's simply not going to have the power because you've not tapped into that power in yourself. Therefore, of course, you cannot share that with your reader. Connect deeply with your why. And I'm not just talking about that surface level, well, why you want to do this stuff. Take some time and just go through that exercise of asking yourself why, why you want to write this book, why do you want to write it for these people, why do you want to do all these other things. Peel back the layers of your why. Because when you do, you can get down to that tap, you can tap that, what I call the, the nuclear power source buried inside all of us. When we uncover, when we peel back those le the onion layers and get to that power source, connecting with our readers becomes, you know, very, very simple and effortless. And that's the very best way to write anything, is to be effortless and yet powerful, right? It also helps your words flow very, very easily. Uh, effortlessly. So it, when we do all these things, as I said, it's so we can make that connection. And, and that's how the readers connect with you. If That's just how it works. Deeply explore the five W's. And if you don't know what the five W's are, go read the post that goes along with this video. I've, I've laid it all out there. Um, but when you're doing this work, it can be very challenging. And often, having a friend do it, they're not going to push you as far as you need to go. So sometimes having an experienced facilitator is really useful um, because they will challenge you to go deeper than you think you can. Uh, they will challenge you to when you think you've gone far enough, and, but you know, deep down even you know you haven't. It's to challenge you, to challenge your fear, to, to go as far as is necessary. There's a great line from uh, Boondock Saints. And at the very end of the movie, uh, the son is asking the father, how far are we going to go, dad? And he says, we're going to go as far as is necessary, as far as is needed. And that's really, really important. That's a really important point to grasp is that until we go this far, until we go as, as far as is needed, 
tapping into that power source is always going to be is always going to elude us. So do the work. And if you want some help with that, I would love to walk you through this process. Go to ChristopherDiarmani.net forward slash dreams and let me help you peel back those layers. Dig down as deeply as is necessary to find that power source that works for you. Because it will be different than the one that works for me. It'll be the one different than the works for any other writer. You have to find the, that source of power for yourself for this book that you're writing. And this is a great way to spend a half an hour just to be, get really clear about what's important to you and why it's important to you. So if that works, if that sounds interesting, please, uh, ChristopherDiarmoni.net forward slash dreams and schedule an appointment and we will go and do that play. It's Because it is play and it's also very useful, very beneficial. So with that, I really hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I will talk to you again tomorrow at three o'clock. Bye for now.